Life is beautiful. From the moment of conception, life is a sacred gift from God. We are made in the image and likeness of our God. God, our Creator, has written this unchanging truth on the hearts of all people and has entrusted His Church here on earth to pass them down through all generations. And we have the elements of our generation that, that are out there now that don't value human life. We see it every day in the media. The reason why the media has such a powerful influence on children is because they're spending so much time with it. And there's no denying that the secular media is promoting a culture of death. If we want to promote the culture of life, then we need to use this powerful tool of the media to teach children that every life is sacred. We need schools to be working with us to change the culture in this community. And they can do it. They can do it. They have these children at their formative years. They have an, an amazing opportunity. I love the idea that one of the consultants on this video uh, is Dr. Tom Stanley, who has spoken at our school and other Catholic schools for a number of years in training children to, to value life. And he breathed just like he did with Adam. And the breath went into you, into that cell. At that very second, you became a person and you became very valuable. At that very second, you had a soul. Knowing that our identity is rooted in God is the cornerstone to living a joy-filled life. Dr. Tom Stanley does an exceptional job in presenting this foundational element to children. The Barna Research Group did a study and found that one-third of the children that are in church on Sunday have a relationship with Christ. Now that means two-thirds of the children are wondering why they're there. And this probably is because their parents too are also not convicted in why they're attending Mass. Pope Francis recently said that besides material poverty, there is a spiritual poverty of our time that afflicts the so-called richer countries in particular. Let's take a look at how the spiritual poverty plays out in your average Catholic classroom of 24 children. The feedback we're getting from teachers is that six of these kids are not even going to Mass on Sunday. And then we do have two that have that relationship with Christ. And the other 16, they're in church, but they're suffering from that spiritual poverty. This poverty is detrimental to souls and their eternal happiness. We have to address this issue of value of life. And, and I'm, I'm very supportive of your efforts. Lumen Entertainment has created a wonderful tool to help us address this poverty within the family. Statistically, children are the number one evangelizer of their parents. They're the main reason why they come back to the faith. And that's why we want to send this DVD home with every child in the classroom so that they can in turn share it with their family and we can begin the process of reaching the spiritually impoverished. I would recommend that any Catholic school consider the Skip and AJ Fantastic Voyage video. Uh, it, it does a wonderful job of providing age-appropriate instruction in an entertaining story uh, that teaches our youngest children to value human life in all its forms. It is my prayer that many parishes and schools will take advantage of both Skip and AJ's Fantastic Voyage and the value of life presentation. When you can be entertained and teach your children and grandchildren uh, the value of life, it doesn't get any better than that. Our children are the future of the church. It is up to us to preserve this eternal truth. It is up to us to pass them on. Together, we can begin to inspire the families of your school or parish's religious educational class for life. If you have children in kindergarten through fifth grade, this DVD is the perfect tool for you. I look forward to hearing from you.